happy Monday. Um, I am actually starting this vlog a little bit later. It's 5.45. Um, I, I will save my Thanksgiving story um, for a much longer, chattier vlog sometime over the next few days. Um, but I am trying, I'm kind of, I swear December like really snuck up on me and I'm thinking, oh, Vlogmas. And so if you're not sure what Vlogmas is, which I think most people watch YouTube kind of are aware of it, but it's, people do it a little bit different ways. Um, and I do kind of a combination of all the different ways that people do it. So, um, some people will actually vlog every day from December 1st to Christmas. Some of them do it December 1st through New Year's. Um, some people just make sure they have a video up every day in the month of December, um, or through 1st to the 25th. Um, some people do a combination. Um, so I kind of do a combination. So there for a while I was trying to make it make sure I had a video up every single day in December and I did use I typically have done mine December 1st through December 31st or I would do for sure a video every single day posted December 1st through the 25th and then the last rest of the month was kind of almost every day but not quite every day um I'm gonna try and do a combination it just works easier with my work schedule as you guys know I work you know 40 plus hours a week outside of my home um, and so it's, you know, it's a little bit harder for me and we are typically pretty busy. So we work this year, it's like three weeks because of how December falls. Um, so I'm going to work until about, I think the 20th is a Friday, if I remember right. And that's our last day of work. And then we're gone. We're, then we have until January 6th, we go back to work January 6th. So we're really lucky in that way. We get a couple weeks off for winter break. But before that time, we are extremely busy. Um, we have usually last minute new hires. We just have, I have state reporting that I do for um, four of the school districts, plus one of them being our district, which we have a lot of employees I have to report for through the state. Um, and then plus the other school districts that we work with. And so those reports are due like a, a week, two weeks after we get back from our winter break. And it's a lot of data and a lot of information gathering and a lot of stuff. So I usually try the collection, they call it a collection, doesn't open until this coming Friday. So I can't do anything until Friday anyway. So more likely it'll be next Monday that I can start it. So we're just really busy. Um, and so I do the best I can, but I really, really, really love watching Vlogmas videos and I've always just loved doing it. So I do kind of a combination. So I just try, I try to film as many days as I can. And then, but then I'm not gonna have a video up every single day because there's gonna be like a delay. So like yesterday I did film my grocery haul on Sunday and got it posted on Sunday, which was the first. But then today, the second, I don't have a video up, but I am filming today. So there may not necessarily be a video up every single day, but I am gonna either try to pick the camera up or, do a pre-film video on a day that I cannot pick the camera up, um, which typically is going to be a weekend when my husband's home. My husband is an over-the-road truck driver, so with the days that he either is passing through and home during the week, but then for sure he's usually home for 34 hours Saturday and Sunday or Friday and Saturday. So it just depends on whatever day they get him in for his 34 hours off. So on those days, I'm not typically going to pick up the camera and do a vlog. I may sit down and do a sit down talk video and then get it posted the next day, that kind of thing. So plus I like to do like some, you know, Christmas crafting, Christmas baking and things like that, which work much better as just a regular video, not like a vlog video. Um, also I have my grocery hauls, my meal prep, although today's meal prep, which is what I'm going to be today, it's going to be a more of a vlog style because I did not do my meal prep yesterday. Again, I will tell you that story <laughs> as to why and also why I didn't start this video will be my Thanksgiving, um, crazy Thanksgiving travel, um, story. And that will be, I'll talk about, I'll just do it in a chatty video where I will just be a regular, regular chatty vlog. Um, but today I need to do meal prepping, but I did want to preface this video a little bit to kind of explain the meal prep you're going to see. And it's because I actually am working with a registered dietitian. I had asked my doctor last March and I'm not going to give you the whole rundown. I am going to sit down one day this week and I'm going to film a whole video on, um, my, the registered dietitian and what, 
we're working on and her plan that she has me on. And I'm gonna give you the whole rundown and that I have all my notes and stuff and all that. I've met with her twice. The first one was just initial intake survey and that kind of thing. But back in March, um, when I gone to see my doctor for my rate, you know, one of my like twice yearly, I don't know. It's It was once a year for my thyroid, but when I'm having issues with my thyroid, we do it twice a year. And when I went in March, that was my regular visit, but then he wanted to see me again in November because I was having issues with my blood pressure. Um, I was having, and that's when I first talked to him. Is that the first time or second time I talked to him about my menopausal symptoms and just kind of my concerns I was having. And then, so then he wanted me to come back in in November and we kind of met about that. But that's also how long it took me to get hooked up with the registered dietitian, mainly because he had to do a referral for my insurance to pay for it. And he wanted to find one. He want, he actually, I'm not seeing one of the ones that's in his local office. I'm actually seeing one that's hooked up with um, OHSU, which is Oregon Health Sciences University. So there's a lot of, like they do a lot of teledoctors and stuff through there that my insurance will pay for. And so, um, she is actually a registered dietitian through them. Um, but he wanted to find one that specialized in, um, women going through menopause and women who with a hypothyroidism like me, because a lot of those things go hand in hand with what he thinks is kind of going on with me. And, um, so anyway, that's, that's also the reason why he wanted to make sure one that would really work with me and, um, be able to work where I could like, I would feel comfortable, you know, it was more realistic, I guess I should say. I don't know, I don't, I've never worked with one, so I don't know how it's gonna work. But the first one was just an initial intake, and then the second one was an actual, like here's the plan that I'd like you to follow, and, but she takes it very slow, which I really like. So I will give more details on that, but basically we are starting out with lowering my carbs and kind of doing a low carb, diet and that is to help with she they think that I am my body has developed some insulin resistance since I've been going into menopause or just could be my doctor even said any women over over 45 it's a tip it's a common thing for women as once they hit 45 and get into perimenopausal or menopausal age that they their bodies become insulin resistance and just the this the uh, um things I've been describing to him and then plus just my blood tests and my um all my labs and stuff that are coming back my blood pressure all of that he said is really kind of pointing to that and so um there's no exact test apparently to check insulin resistance besides just checking blood blood sugar levels and it's really just about how your body your labs and stuff are coming out so Anyway, um, that is what we're doing. And my doctor is very much like diet first, lifestyle changes first before looking at anything else. But that is fine with me. That's exactly what I want to do. Like I want to do diet changes. I have had people ask me like, would you ever consider doing those? What are they called? GPL, GLP drugs or whatever. And a couple reasons not for me is one, my doctor, he doesn't really support that kind of stuff, but unless you're diabetic, which I'm not, like I'm not even pre-diabetic, we did run all those tests. It's more about, um, he just, he really believes in diet and exercise and just making lifestyle changes. And, but he's not like, if I were to ever say, I wanna do this, like, I don't know that he would be against it. It's just, he always says, let's do this first. Um, also, cost my insurance will not pay for it like it specifically says even if a doctor prescribes it unless i have diabetes my insurance will not pay for it and so it specifically says that they my insurance has a third party that actually has a board that determines the referrals for insurance for medication and that's the reason why like my husband when he was trying to get on some kind of medication that his doctor had prescribed and we had to change it three times before they finally and and it was all about the form of the medication um they wanted a certain way for him to take it before they would accept it and it comes from their board it's very annoying in a lot of ways because my husband's medication with all the medication he takes it's very tricky and it's very specialized to him and his body and his psychiatrist is i mean he fights the insurance but we, that's how we finally got it. But 
my I know they will not they do not do those at all so there's no way I could ever afford it for one thing and I truly believe that if I actually stuck to <laughs> any lifestyle changes and stuck to it that I could do it you know I just have to find something that is going to work with me and I have to just make myself do it and that is the biggest problem but I've been encountering so many roadblocks and most of it being stress most of it being not being able to sleep because I've been hitting that insomnia which is really bad for people who are insulin resistant also just the cravings and stuff that I've been having so I will talk all about that so her what she wants me to do is to lower my carbs and again I will go into more detail on why she chose that route and it actually does make a lot of sense it's not really about going on a low carb diet. It's really about if you lower your carbs, it's going to naturally do this and naturally do that. So I'll talk all about that. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know now, gosh, I have like my cat hair is like blowing in the air. Um, that way, as you're seeing my stuff over the next few days and any meals I may be having, um, it kind of explains it. And then when I, I will explain it all in a video upcoming, but it's definitely not extreme. She doesn't want me to hire my fat. She is not a very extreme low carb diet. It's really, she has parameters for me. So anyway, that's where we're at. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do my meal prep. My plan today for meal prep, I am going, for my dinner tonight, I'm gonna have egg roll in a bowl. So I'm gonna make that first because I'm hungry and that way I can kind of eat while I'm doing the rest of my meal prep. So I'm doing egg roll in a bowl. I got ground chicken to make that. I have some burger patties that I'm gonna go ahead and um, just cook those up. I'll probably do those. I don't know if I wanna do those in a pan. They always turn out better in a pan. So I think I'll put them in a pan. And then I'm gonna do some chicken salad that I'll be eating with um, bell peppers. And then I feel like there's, oh, I have some kielbasa I just wanna cook up because I'm gonna have those with my breakfast. So that is a plan for meal prep. For my egg roll in a bowl, I, I do it a little different every single time, but always, of course, our base is some sort of coleslaw, so I have to try color coleslaw. I'll use this entire bag. Um, I'm using ground chicken, but you can use ground sausage, ground beef, ground turkey. I'm using the 96% lean ground chicken. And then I usually put green onions, but I did not get green onions on my grocery order. Completely forgot, so I'm gonna use onion salt instead of that, some pepper, and then I use liquid aminos instead of soy sauce. Um, and then I'm gonna use sugar-free stir-fry sauce. Just add a little bit of that, just to kind of thicken up the sauce, add a little bit of flavor. So first thing I do is ground this up, brown this up, not ground it up, it's already ground up. Brown this up, and then once it's almost totally brown, I will put all the rest of those in there. Then we just toss our coleslaw in there, saute it up, and we are good to go. So I'm gonna make that first so I can kind of snack on that while I am um, making the rest of the food. So as far as the rest of what I'm gonna make, I have these ground, um, or these ground beef patties. So I'm just gonna fry these up in a um, skillet, and then that way I have bun can make some bunless burgers. I'm not gonna add the cheese on there because every time I do that, of course the cheese gets, they stick together. It's harder to store. So I will, when I heat these up, which I'll probably heat them up in the air fryer, just kind of adds a little bit more flavor. Uh, I will add the cheese on there at that time. So I plan on doing bunless burgers. I could toss these in a salad. There's so much you can do with burger patties. And then, I'm just gonna cook this up. Um, I forgot I already had sausage in the freezer, which is actually a little bit better quality sausages. But I'm gonna, since I bought this, I'm gonna go ahead and cook it up. But then I do have some andouille sausages that have the Amy Lou ones that actually have a lot better ingredients. I, cause I really want to try to work on that. It's again, work in progress. Um, but for now, I'm gonna have these. Um, as far as carbs, looks like it is a three carbs. I think that's what that says. You guys know my old lady eyes. I can't see very well, but anyway, I'm just gonna chop this up and then I'll probably, I think I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer. I don't think I've ever done that before, but since my skillet, well, both of my skillets will be used between this and those, that I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in the air fryer. And that way I can kind of cook everything at one time. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I plan on pairing this with eggs and avocado in the morning for breakfast. 
And then lastly, to kind of have for either lunches or dinners, I'm gonna make some chicken salad. I know some people don't like canned chicken, but I have zero issues with it. I kind of really like it, actually kind of prefer it. Um, I just drain this really well, kind of pat dry with a paper towel. The rest of the meat, so it makes it nice and dry. Then I'll use some light mayo, some mustard, and then I don't have any pickle relish, but I do have some pickles. So I'll, t I'll chop up some pickles and add to that. And then um, I also will, oh, and then I'll, of course I'll use seasoning, probably salt, pepper, or probably pepper and onion salt. Um, but yeah, so it'll be a very simple chicken breast and then I plan on eating that with bell peppers. Now I'm also gonna make some cottage cheese ranch. I actually bought a ranch packet, but then I forgot that I had my homemade ranch blend that I replenished this not too long ago. So I'm gonna use this instead. And then for the burgers, I'm gonna use the Kinder's caramelized onion burger. I love this stuff. So I'll be using that for seasoning on the burgers. And that'll be my meal prep for the day, for the week. Okay, these are going into the air fryer. I think I'm just gonna do 400 because I do everything at 400. And we'll do 400. I'll start with like 10 minutes. And we'll see how that looks. Burgers are cooking. My ground chicken is cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of the seasoning and stir fry sauce and stuff just so we get a little bit of flavor on this ground chicken. Okay, now we're ready to add in the cabbage. And because it's such a big bag, I usually kind of let it cook down a little bit, which does not take long, of course, the cabbage. So I'm not going to worry about measuring this out, but I am going to measure out the stir fry sauce. I just kind of usually pour that in enough to just, again, kind of help saute down the cabbage. And then we'll add in a little bit of onion salt and some pepper. stir fry sauce and then this will be done. Okay, I just added in a tablespoon of that stir fry sauce. You really don't need a whole lot because it's so thick. And I just put that in there and this is all ready to go. My burgers are still cooking over in the other pan. My kielbasa still has two minutes on it. I'm gonna go ahead and get these into my meal prep containers. I usually make this into three servings. Um, I already took a serving out for dinner tonight. And this is really best with fresh green onions on top. And I'm so bummed that I forgot to order some, but it is what it is. Alrighty. Alrighty, here is the egg roll in a bowl. My one for dinner that I'm gonna start eating right now. Um, and then one's for lunch or for dinner this week. And our kibos is also done. Some pieces got a little bit darker than others, but looks amazing. Now I can have this for breakfast. I can also toss it with some veggies or something. So this is really easy and versatile. I have some green beans in the freezer. I could always um, toss these with some green beans and have it in a bowl because I loved to have this kielbasa with vegetables, so, or just for my breakfast. Okay, a little change of action here. I, instead of doing the cottage cheese ranch dip, mainly because I don't wanna have to get my blender out, and I'll just eat my cottage cheese 
with breakfast in the morning because I love to have cottage cheese for breakfast. So um, I'll get my extra added protein that way. I'm gonna make this, and since I don't have a lot of things to put in this chicken salad, like I like to try to bulk it up with veggies and stuff sometimes, but the bell peppers I have, I wanna use for, for the chicken salad. So don't really have any to spare. I think I'm gonna do a dill pickle ranch chicken salad. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of cutting the pickles up a little bit chunkier. Normally I'd cut them up a lot smaller. And then I'm gonna use some of this dill pickle seasoning from Trader Joe's, some light mayo, my ranch seasoning. Then I'll add a little bit of onion salt in there for extra flavor. And then I think I said light mayo and mustard. So that's kind of my plan. I think this is enough pickle. And then um, I'm gonna eat one though, cause I am so hungry. Um, I have enough pickle. Since I'm only using one can of chicken salad, I think that'll do. All right, I have my scale on here so I can add the mayo. I already had the seasoning. I always like to add the seasoning right to the chicken. Cause again, canned chicken can be kind of bland. So I like to add the seasoning directly to the um, chicken. Mix that up and then we may adjust the seasoning after we put in the mayo. And I also like to put in the mayo and mustard before I put in anything chunky like the dill pickles. Now this is the mayo I have. Um, what is the serving size? So 15 grams. This will be about three servings for this chicken. And so let me go ahead and do, I'm gonna see what 30 grams looks like. So we'll do two servings. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot more than what I thought. That's 20 grams. Okay, 30 grams. Mustard, I mean, I'll go ahead and measure it out, but mustard is like zero of everything. So um, I usually just, yeah, seven grams. And then I'm gonna mix this up and then we'll add in our pickles and taste it and adjust it for the seasoning. I tasted it, it needs more mustard. And then um, I need to add pepper. I don't think, I didn't add pepper. So I need more mustard. And then add in some pepper. Go ahead and add in our pickles. I think this will be done. And here's our chicken salad. And again, I'll have this with bell peppers, with cucumbers, or I'll just eat it. Like I love to just eat chicken salad. I mean, of course I do like it on bread and all that, but I think I'm just gonna stick to bell peppers and cucumbers. And here are our burgers. Now these are great for, again, like bunless burgers. I plan on doing bunless avocado bacon cheeseburgers. Um, also, I may make a burger bowl with like avocados, tomatoes, a little bit of cheese, and some lettuce. Um, you could also just eat it, I guess. I mean, there's lots of things you could do with burger patties. So these are nice to have on hand. If you don't like ground beef, you could use ground turkey, ground chicken, and whatnot. And that is my meal prep. That was probably one of the fastest meal preps I've ever done. I think that took me 30 minutes. Um, but I have, you know, I have my um, burgers. I have my egg roll in a bowl. So I have three, seven meals here, plus my chicken salad, which is another two or three. So about 10 meals here. So that'll do me through Friday. And then um, the weekend, we start all over again. So there is my meal prep. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I know it was really kind of short, not much going on, but tomorrow I have a lot more going on. So my house is still not in order after Thanksgiving. Um, we do host Thanksgiving and so we had people staying here. Um, so my guest bedroom needs to be refreshed. My office, I had somebody sleeping on the futon in there. So I need to strip that and put it back together. I have a whole sink full of dishes here. I just wanted to spend time with my husband again before he went off on the road. I'm by myself probably till Saturday. So I have plenty of time this week to get things done. That way, you know, if I'm by myself, it might as well have the time to clean. 
You'll see my table here. I still have our extra table in here. Um, so I need to clean off my dining room table, put my put this table away, the extra one. And then, and my kitchen is just a mess in general. I still have our big coffee maker out, which I bring out for the holidays. Um, we have a bunch of people here. This table here, can you see that? That, there. That has all my fall decor on it and stuff from Thanksgiving. So I am gonna gather up all my fall decor um, on my porch and just around the house and pile it right there. And then tomorrow I'm gonna bring in my bins um, and I'll bring in my Christmas bins and my Thanksgiving bins and get all that stuff put away. Um, and then I'm gonna do my, like right now my coffee bar looks really sad. We have no cups up there because I took all my fall cups down. So I need to bring out all my Christmas and winter cups. You do see my tree is up. Um, I'm not gonna do a lot of decor this year. I'm actually thinking about doing a winter theme decor versus Christmas decor because then I wouldn't have to decorate my whole tree. <laughs> because I mean, you guys, we don't have kids here. We don't, you know, it's just, it's only gonna be me for the most part and my husband on the weekend. So I love my tree and it has like kind of a winter theme and I'll show you that close up. So I'm thinking about just doing a winter theme decor, um, depending on what I can find to be able to achieve that. Um, there may be some places that are more Christmassy because that's the decor I already have and I don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, I need to change my sheets. I have laundry to put away. So over these next several days, we'll have some just normal vlogs and putting stuff away and getting new stuff out and all of that. So lots and lots to come this week. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and close up this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>